Good morning, Brad Perry here from Brad Sound Company. We're in the Rosebury Middle School Gymnasium. As in many buildings such as this, we have a major problem with echo. As you'll see later in the video, we'll show you what we're trying to do to minimise the problem. But while we're here, we'll show you the sound desk. This here is the Yamaha IM832 channel. It's a very nice analogue mixer with uh, many excellent features. Amongst them, eight auxiliary sends. Up here we've got a 4x4 matrix output. And down here we have eight subgroups and four stereo channels. Very, very nice mixer. Now let's have a look at the effects racks. Okay, up here we have a Samson power conditioner distributor and next down here we have stereo compressors by PV, another compressor here, double compressor and a bank of equalizers as you see here, front of house, right front of house and the monitor mixers and of course the uh, external power for the board. Over this side, the double DVD player. Down here, Mexican effects units. Stereo, another Mexican effect unit there. And again, another bank of equalizers for the monitors. Speaker end of the hall. As you see, there's a stack of uh, pretty impressive speakers behind me. Down here, obviously, the bass. This is Phoebe's QW218. Two 18 inch big whoopers there. The top cabinets here, Phoebe's QW2. Very, very fine speakers. 15 inch whooper and full voice coil waveguide technology for the highs. Now, this particular configuration, this centre speaker here is actually simply a dummy. It's not being used today. It's to raise the height of the top speaker. What we're trying to do here is get the speaker up high and tilt it forward to get the high frequencies directed straight to the audience and away from the walls and the ceiling. Also, because we've got people up very, very close, we're sitting up here, we're trying to get an even coverage. Now, when we're down here, we're well away from the axis of the high frequency. The high frequency axis is pointing at about the third row, fourth row from the back. So that will give a reasonably even coverage. Now, powering this equipment, we've got a bank of PV amplifiers. But we need control, our crossover, and many, many functions of the loudspeaker control. That's the PV VSX26. Our amplifiers, for the subwoofers, PV CS4080, that's uh, 4080 watts at 4 ohms. Again, the same CS4080 for the mids and the highs, we're using CS2000. Down here, the 3000, that's powering two of the uh, SP15M monitors, which we're going to have a look at very shortly. Okay, here we have the PV SP15M. Very nice monitor, rated at 1000 watts program. 15 inch woofer down here and the 90 by 40 degree horn up here. As you see, we, we stood the uh, monitor upwards to allow the dispersion angle of 90 degrees to cover the whole stage. You see, we've got more two more up here on the stage, set up in the conventional manner. And there they'll be on a separate mix to the, uh, to the front of the stage monitors. 
Now we'll go out the back and we'll show you what we've got out the back. Okay, out the back of the, behind the stage, in where the children will be gathering, we have another monitor here, again a 15M SP, and also in here the back room. We've had a look at the venue. Everything should go very well. It's been very well rehearsed and we're looking at a wonderful night for the children and the parents. So Brad from Brad Sound Company signing off. Bye for now.